New developments right now in a story we first brought you tonight at 6. Preservationists in Glastonbury are celebrating what they consider a huge victory tonight. Town leaders are taking a step which could stop the planned demolition of a historic mill. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanin joins us now live in Glastonbury to explain exactly what happened. Roger. Well, Aaron and Mark, you know, the fate of the Cotton Hollow Mill is still up in the air, but tonight town leaders announced they will fight to try and save it. It was humming, it was throbbing. There were 350 people that worked there at its height. The people who love what remains of this historic cotton mill in Glastonbury say it's so much more than an old tall wall in the middle of the woods. It's not just ruins, it's not rubble. What it is is historic, iconic artifacts. Glastonbury Dr. Brian Schiffer, who gives tours of the area, says the ruins, known as Cotton Hollow Mill, are worth protecting. The structure was built in the early 1800s, and local historians say the mill helped propel Glastonbury from a farming community to an industrial town. It is a symbol to me of Glastonbury, its early industrial past, and, uh, you know, just ingenuity, creativity, genius. So some history lovers were horrified when the property owner began removing stones and preparing to demolish the mill. The town stopped the process because the owner needs a special permit, but one young preservationist wants to ensure the mill is permanently protected. I think it's so important to have physical reminders of, you know, where our town came from and why we are so prosperous like we are today. So 17-year-old Wesley Harris started a petition to protect the mill. And at a town council meeting tonight, he announced that more than 4,000 people have signed. And sometimes it's hard to visualize things online, um, what 4,000 people looks like, but here's what it looks like on paper. Many of the signers attended tonight's meeting, and every single council member announced they want to save the mill too. The next step is tricky because the ruins are on private property, but the council voted to explore acquiring the land the mill sits on from the current owner. I'm so elated that this town will support historic preservation, especially in this in instance. And we did reach out to the property owner, Amy Rio, earlier today. She did not respond. She also did not attend tonight's meeting. So at this point, it's unclear whether or not she's even interested in selling. So this battle could be a long way from finished. Reporting live in Glastonbury tonight, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.